Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Dungeons 3. So, I played Dungeons 2 a long time ago when it first came out, and it was bad. I was not good at it, I didn't know what I was doing, and uh, oof, you guys let me know about that one. Uh, so I figured, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and try again, try Dungeons 3, start fresh, and do well. So, before I start, before I even started this video, I ran through the tutorials. So this time, hopefully, I'm not going to be stumbling over my feet, and this time there's also a, a, uh, a way of turning down the narrator, so he won't just be yelling at me constantly, which is really good, because uh, he was, it was non-stop yelling, and I can shut him up if I really need to. Hopefully, uh, that won't shut him up during plot stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I've already run through the tutorial, so... The Shadow of Absolute Evil. The Shadow of Absolute Evil had crossed the sea, and now sought the chosen target. A dark elf named Talia. Uh, but yeah, fair warning, I've only kind of ever played a little bit of, like, Dungeon Keeper-y type games, so I don't quite know what I'm doing. Uh, but hopefully I'll kind of figure it out as we go along. So, successfully complete the mission, destroy nine heroes with Thalia's Firebomb in the mission, and don't let Shadow take any damage from Light. I don't know about the bonus objectives. The first two seem possible, the other ones, eh. A long, long time ago. The absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges? The occasional trick played on the little snots? There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal. An unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions' evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with devious evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. I am afraid to talk, because as soon as this is over, he's going to go back to talking, and this the narrator is solid. If I remember right, didn't they actually poach the narrator the from Paladin Bolton? Thanos. Hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. 
he was visiting the fatiguing library in Tristram with his comrades to see his foster daughter, Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. Y I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. Then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good is good. Yuck. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, and the next moment, whomph! With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf, caught between good and evil was very close. As the shadow of the unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants withered. Animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. <laughs> so, uh, correction. It's not that they poached the narrator from Bullfrog. This is the Stanley Parable guy. I, I know I had it wrong. I just didn't remember exactly who and what and whatever. Anyway, there's the correction. Expect the many of this The far-off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men, and let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors. And there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod in it earlier. For the darkness! Uh, I, mean, I mean, for the, for the light! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature. But, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the Shadow was able to possess, thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. The Shadow of Absolute Evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the Shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. The Shadow's target was close. So close. Talia, the Dark Elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> May the goddess be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. Well, I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know. The mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Uh, 
Excellent! May the light of the goddess shine upon you, and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at uh, the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors or uh, uh, something like that. You sh the sheer amount of references they jam pack in here is kind of ridiculous. Uh, Night is dark and full of terrors is a uh, that's Game of Thrones, right? And Twistrum is Tristram. Uh, Stormbreeze is well. Let's be honest. That's that's World of Warcraft. Okay. So I don't think I can. Oh, I see. Waiting for this guy to turn around. There we go. Cause yeah, we gotta we gotta take the long way around. I could just uh, charge straight through the. Uh... I could charge straight through, but I. Oh, he dropped it for a second. That's okay. We're just gonna hang back here. Cause I guess the chat. Uh, I guess we have a mandatory pseudo stealth segment. Right off the bat in the game. Stop holding the lantern in your face like that, boy. I am Grimly, king of the dwarves. And I am used to the dark tunnels under the mountains. I don't need of any stupid lamp shining into me eyes. Now I'm stuck with that damn pointy ear. I mean, uh, my good friend Tamos is foster daughter. Curse him. A dark elf is a dark elf, and nothing will change that. The girl will always be tainted. Should have cut her ears off when I had the chance. Enough chit chat, men. You stay here and secure the area. I have to go check my invention. Stay alert. I can feel something evil lurking in the area. And it's not just that damn pointy ear. I mean, that elf. After this cliched monologue, Grimly disappeared into the darkness. The impatient evil shadow set off again. We have to go a fair distance to get anywhere. Well, that's okay. What do we got up here? Oh. I guess this kind of works, actually. Oh, wait, no. He's in the light. Dang. Yeah, he's he's well lit, isn't he? Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep sneaking around. I uh, okay. So we do we do have the the right proper mini map. Is this just as kooky as two? I I haven't been abused yet by the. Uh... In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes. With lanterns, began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. Now these guys dropped their torches for a second. But I'm not sure if I get much of a ch choice. Can I just go straight through the center? I guess they're not going to notice me. Okay, sure, why not? I was expecting something a little bit more resistant to my help, but that's okay. There's a statue there, but it doesn't look like I can get to it yet. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I'm going to go into the options quickly. Let's see. T -t 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 game. We want to up the scroll sp speed on screen edge a little bit. It is. Yeah, okay, that's a little, that's a little bit smoother. I'm glad to see so many of you here of your own free will. <laughs> we almost got ambushed from behind there. That could that could have gone real bad. Finally, finally, the time had come, and the shadow of the passes in the slow lane evil was within range of Talia, the dark elf. The time had come for it to use its incredible powers to possess her for a short time. My dear 
father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage and this orphanage and destroy it utterly and all of you with it. Uh, what did she say? Die! <laughs> she did leap damage. Of course she did leap damage. Ah, I, I feel the power within me. Oh, it, it, it's over 9,000! Unimagined powers surfaced in Talia. The black magic of the Dark Elves. She immediately began to unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. Of course it's over 9,000. 9,001. Elite the damage. Slaughter. Oh, did I, did I not hit with it? Well, they don't do any damage. This is kind of awful. But, like, not surprisingly awful. Just... <laughs> I kind of figured it would happen. It'll like get a little bit better. The slaughter. It'll get a bit better, I think, once we get further. Okay. The Dark Elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam while screaming, Kamehameha! Meanwhile, in the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month, with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library, as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the Minion Wasting Evil's new favorite henchperson. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely ultimately evil evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no inkling of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> Well, this game is weird in magic. Ruins, Talia, the Dark Elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults, her first dungeon. Oh, interesting. I can turn the difficulty up. Not going to do that. All right, complete the mission. Twist from in ruins without losing more than three creatures. Collect 1,000 evilness in the mission and complete the mission. All right. Hope it just kind of lets us loose on the world at some point. Because uh, obviously that first one is very plotty. And I, I just want to make a dungeon. I just want to make a dungeon. <laughs> I think that was actually my problem with dungeons too. I just wanted to make a dungeon. like the leftovers from a heavy metal concert. What? What have I done? Oh no. I've fallen to evil again. Father will be beside himself. 
He was right when he said, you either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Although, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Burning things, pillaging, and showing those nasty goody two-shoes where the hammer hangs. <laughs> they just look down at me anyway. My revenge will be terrible. While Tanya was delivering a typical villainous monologue, something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal filled with the magic savvy evil's power. A dungeon heart. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued again. Hello, greetings. <laughs> what seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough for that. <sighs> right then. I will make these people suffer for mocking me. Father's henchmen never liked me anyway, and always insulted me, calling me pointy-eared. It's time for my well-deserved... REVENGE! The game logic internalizing evil had given Talia an assignment. Out there on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I am an evil army. Naturally, the strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. Alright, so we finally actually have proper gameplay as opposed to just kind of, well, not. Let's make a treasury. I know what I'm doing this time around, mostly. I'm still gonna run into trouble with the, the little, little snotlings. What are they called again? I think they are actually like little snots. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, hello, what is this? Increases a creature's armor a bit. Can I give it to her? I can! The I wonder how many times I can upgrade her. Had not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some research projects the researching evil could pursue. The new improved research menu, TM, was now available. <laughs> new evil general, just carry her around like some awkward ragdoll. Well, uh, let's see. Might as well do some of these things. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time just working on a dungeon here. I'm not actually sure what the, the limitations spread are. Throughout the underground. Uh, spiders? Spiders. Evil will triumph. Death oh, there we go. I guess good. she's going to have to fight manual in here. Hey! I'm sure she can figure it out. There we go. So we actually get a hero unit in this one. We didn't... We kind of had them in the preview. We had to, like, recruit them in dungeons, too. If I remember right. I don't really remember that well. Okay, so I can't make any creatures yet, because I can't make anything, because... Do we have research available? Oh, okay, we can we can start on research. The new improved research menu, TM, opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. Let's see, so we do not have a lecture hall. We'll have to figure out how to get one of those. Now we do have more creatures, that's Max Pop. I'm gonna research extra little snots. Can I do it? Yeah, okay. So that's seven, we're gonna be a little bit poor for a little while, but that'll be okay. I mean, I could, I could be messing up here, but I think I've got a, a general feel for how this game is played, unlike previously. And we're still going to mess up real bad, but that's, that's okay. So I'm just going to keep clearing things out while I think about where and what. 
and who and how. Because if I remember right, room efficiency is a huge thing in this game. Uh, and it's not something that you want to just ignore. Uh, so I'm going to generally try my best to, to kind of not obey the room efficiency system, but still. Okay, so what's this? Reduces their wage demands. Does that even work on her? Does she have a wage? Yeah, no, it doesn't... Okay, so it looks like Thalia does not care about uh, wages at all. Oh, that is moderately understandable. Let's get a hideout. And then I'll do another... Uh, Payday! Uh, I'll do another... Well, I'll do the Gobbler Farm. Have I ever played Dungeon Keeper 1 or 2? I have not. They were old enough... Uh, they were old when I was, like, getting into gaming, really. Uh, so I never really got the the chance. Whoops. Well, I guess I've... I don't know how to cancel things. Uh, I guess that's fine. They'll just big a big, uh, build a big room there. Um, anyway. So I actually... Uh, I actually have never played any of the Dungeon Keepers games. I played a little bit of Dungeons 2. Uh, but that was kind of the extent of what I had played. I did also play uh, War for the Overworld as one of my Patreon series quite a, quite a while back, which was fun. Uh, it was a fairly solid game. Up until like I got to kind of this like weird, unwinnable mission. Uh, as much as I like these games, they kind of have been uh, ham-fisting in like a more RTS mechanics, which I don't mind. Uh, but half the time it's not really like constructed or, or balanced particularly well at least as far as I'm concerned so it always uh, ends up feeling just a little off um, well, let's see so we still want to go after those but I, I'm just I'm just gonna build a nice little dungeon here and at some point uh, we will hit our limits I want to get the Naga really so that's more creatures but what we really want is this but I gotta I might not be able to actually make the Naga today, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, because it says we need a... Oh, wait, no, that's evil points. Okay, so I might actually be able to do that then. Well, let's increase our population by one. Uh, and that requires more evil. So I'm just gonna grab, uh, one more of each of these guys. And I'm just gonna let the snots kind of go wild. I guess we'll go conquer some stuff. It'd be nice, heroes, demons, horde. It'd be nice if we could actually see, like, the, the food st stacks. Oh, change in the last 20 seconds, one. Okay, so if we're lucky, uh, if we're lucky, that'll make it a little bit easier. So, M. So this is my army. We get to see everything, sort of. Gotcha. Yeah, tutorial did not go over all of this stuff. It's tempting to actually get, like, a, a couple more gobbler pens, but that's okay. Let's see. But I'm just gonna keep telling them to grab gold. I assume my treasury is... No, it's not full. They're just not uh, dealing with it immediately. Okay. Well, here's the... Uh, here's the entrance. Is that everybody? Yep, that's everybody. Let's go on adventures! Murderous adventures! How do we switch back and forth, actually? Oh, that's how we switch back and forth. Okay, that's actually really seamless. Okay, the, the fact that there are two maps here is actually going to be really, really confusing at all times. Because I'm always used to the map in the bottom right corner. Uh, and so I'm going to be looking at that when in reality I shouldn't be. So we've got a weird fountain looking thing. How do we get to it? Can we... Oh! The path Blinding is... beams of light met the dauntless evil's creatures. They briefly squinted at the disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned, satisfied. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon, as is the case with other representatives of the genre. <clears throat> Follow me. The armies of evil reached one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice-cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. Okay, who's injured?
Uh, let's see, can I... I'll have him pick it up. Yep. Yeah, we want to get... Oh, Blind Rage. Oh. I was not aware I could do that. Well, we want to actually lead with this. Okay, you guys should probably get over here. I was kind of hoping her uh, her nuke actually had longer range than it did, but that's that's okay. Yeah, no, this is no problem. I'm trying. Uh, I'm gonna try really hard not to lose a single person over the course of this. Oh, she's taking some hits. Let's let the uh, let's let the orcs take the hits instead, for they are significantly uh, easier to well, significantly less killable. I don't know. I'm glad that I did improve her her armor value. Good was destroyed and turned into a hotbed of evilness. Cracks formed on the surface, and something, guess, evil rose from the depths. This evilness, in a practical spherical form, was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah blah without any impact on the game aside, it was another resource primarily or exclusively used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. The impatient evil immediately began to research something. Uh... Payday. Kind of already did. Okay, so let's get another hideout. Yeah, what is going on here? I feel a disturbance in the force. The deeds of the conspicuous evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind them. As idiotic heroes do, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. Move out, men! Have a look around and report back to me. While I would love to accompany you myself, I'm currently um, teaching myself to play the ukulele. Okay, so now we've got some healers. Oh, and we've got some uh, destructible objects here. With heroes on the other side. But yeah, before I go off and do any real major fighting, we're probably gonna wanna get the, uh, the healer naga in. This way I don't lose anybody. I'm just going to uh, max out the most of these. Okay, this this is working. It's actually working out really well. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to lose anybody like this. This is also a smaller crew than last time. I'll Take run off with that. somebody if it becomes a problem. No, it looks like, it looks like we're going to be okay. But I am probably going to just stop. Oh, yeah. Let's go, uh, let's go pick up all the evilness points. It looks like the evilness points just get picked up anyway. But, yeah, let's use this opportunity, at least for a little while. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh! No! The studio burned down! And I was going to come here tonight for Pilates! Okay. Uh-oh. Didn't notice it. We've got friends. There are in Hey, where does this lead? We should take a closer look. The first heroes had discovered the not so well hidden evil's dungeon and now entered its depths. Of course, the insidious evil had already prepared a despicable reception for them. At least I hope so. Even if that's not the case, I will kill these ridiculous do-gooders myself. They will pay for mocking me over the years. Wait! Wait a minute! What am I saying? These are my friends! How can I plan their deaths? Talia had chosen an extremely unfavorable time for moral doubts. Luckily, her evil dark elf heritage prevailed. Hey! Talia, you're evil, so act like it. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Kill them all! Okay, let's get one more Naga. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do much else apart from this. Uh, let's see, so 
Yeah, next up we want to get some of these. Spell resistance multiplayer. Oh, makes perfect sense. Because we have access to... Uh, there are multiplayer game modes for this. I don't think I'm going to really mess with them. I know there's a... You can play this game co-op, the campaign. Uh, but I cannot actually tell you if I'm going to or not. Uh, since it, I'm just going to... Well, not for the time being. I'm just gonna keep playing it alone. Uh, let's see. So what else do we got around here? A yeah, lot of, lot of stuff. No one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. Hey everybody, have fun. Oh, except for maybe that one guy that's almost dead. Yeah, you're the you're you're the really wounded one. You get back to. You get back to hanging out. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like my Nagas are really particularly in interested in healing the other guys. Oh well. Ooh, diamond. Diamond vein. Sure, why not? I'll just keep mining around here. I guess we could, uh... We can get some more more little snots. That'll speed this up. So I'm just gonna hang out until we've, uh... We've cleared out the general area. Build up my forces, and then we'll go out and fight stuff. Okay. Yeah, one thing I really Your like about this game. Have inadvertently dug into a dragon's nest. Oh. Well, they're not immediately coming for me. That's a good sign. Uh, let's see. How do I check? Yeah, unfortunately, we've got like Mogtar. Who's looking pretty worse for the wear. I like tell her to heal Mogtar instead, instead of Karguk, because like Mogtar is definitely the one who needs it more. Because once he's he's back up a little bit, I think we'll be okay. All right, M for the military screen. Yeah, so Mogtar, Mogaruk. They're all good. Doesn't look like we've got anybody else here. Oh! Displays the compact version versus not. Eh. Sorts by HP. Oh, the goblins have less, of course. Okay, well I've got spot uh, spot for one more healer. Let's go with that. I'm usually always going to kind of prioritize having a, uh, a large number of healers if I can, if I can do so. Alright! Into the fray you go! Payday! Hotkeys are good shit. Admittedly, it's, uh, this is kind of just pure chaos at this point. But that's okay. Holy crap. There's just tons of money back here. Alright, I'm just gonna slowly mine it out. At some point I can fill this back in, if I care. Uh, but I kind of don't. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this is probably gonna get more problematic as we, the longer we wait. Whole team is, uh, fully healed, so I'm just gonna dump them all in here. We'll go out to the overworld and let's go kick some ass. Uh, you, last guy, there we go. Of light. What happened here? The whole city is in ruins. I drank a beer right over there just yesterday. Hello! Good military composition is two healers for every non-healer unit? Wow. Really? Alright. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna complain about that. Uh that That'll definitely just give me like I guess they do actually fight. Slytherin, of course. Of course. Yeah, because the, uh, the, the, the Naga will still attack, even if they're not healing, so p more or less just makes me invincible, and they work as range support. Yeah, so, instead of getting goblins, I think I'll just stack up, um, I'll just stack up crazy amounts of healers and just call it a day. Works for me. See, what's the, there is no hotkey for firebomb. But that's okay. Yep, no. <laughs> I will uh I will definitely stack Nagas. It might be kind of the slow way to do things, but it seems to be the most effective way. 
We got something up here. I'm going to explore every nook and cranny, seeing as we have nooks and crannies to explore. Okay, I want one goblin for scouting. Uh, did they get, like, proper stealth at some point? Because currently they don't have any. Oh, actually, speaking of... Upgrades. Oh, I apparently just can't access the upgrade menu from here. Uh-oh. We do not have enough gobblers. All right. Let's get some more uh, gobblers up in this. We're going to have some gobbler-capable rooms here. There we go. That'll be a bit better. Uh, let's see. So now let's open this up. Can I get this? So I can. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. I am the evil. I wonder if we get other characters with uh, active abilities. Actually, I wonder if it. Uh, I wonder if she act. Uh, she will use that on her own. I don't know. Guess we'll find out as we go along. Okay, there is actually a, uh... Oh. 100% sleep and hunger. Okay, so this area is gonna kind of go bad. I wonder if we have to worry... I am the evil. ...too much about this. Yeah, they're hungry, but we don't have any gobblers. We also have not gone out. So, I'll finish off these groups, and then we'll probably just go back and rest and relax. I forget that these guys have needs. Oh yeah, they're they're even on strike right now. You can you can tell that they're. Uh, the island of the good was mercilessly overrun by the strategically savvy evil's hordes and turned into an evil island. Soon, more of that exquisite evilness would be bubbling to the surface. <laughs> Excellent. Even better than in Dungeons 2. Not that I'm out to plug it or its fantastic add-on or anything. I'd never do that. Huh? The armies of evil here? Damn it all. How did that happen? Time to call out the heavy guns. Right, men. Get ready to attack in waves. Uh, excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it make more sense if we attacked all at once? Where's the fun in that? Wave after wave, that's a strategy for real men. Thanks to the enemy's limited tactical finesse, their destruction was virtually unavoidable. So it was time to decorate for the victory celebration, to get the beer and hire the orc dancers. Okay, maybe not orcs. I shudder at the thought. <laughs> They're gonna be child's play. Leave them to me. I mean, hold them back and let them hit you while I deal with them. Okay, yeah, so we've got to attend to our need, and we are still pretty low on gobblers. Yeah, change in the last 20 seconds. Negative two. Okay, let's make a big old gobbler pen somewhere... somewhere smack dab in the middle of where I can make the most of it. Actually, the other thing I could do is just extend the uh, gobbler room. Let's just make a... Uh, Temple de los Gobblers. Not actually sure if this is the uh, the right way to do it, but I'll just do it anyway. Payday. Okay, at least we're uh. The goddess of light, what happened here? The whole city is in ruins. I drank a beer right over there just yesterday. <laughs> I like this warrior. He's just like, what? What's going on? Work. Okay, so we do also have a book up here. There what is this book? In your Crit bonus. I'm just gonna drop it on her. She can have it. We'll figure that out later. It yeah, would like to sleep. No bunk. So yeah, let's um... Let's figure out uh, some better quarters, because I actually have a fairly... I have fairly hefty requirements here. What are those noises? Oh, that's them healing. Wait, are they healing the crystal? They can heal the crystal? I didn't know they could heal the crystal. I got some money, let's... A new room has been discovered in the dungeon. 
Let's uh, get Gobbler Topia. Room efficiency will be something that we figure out at a much later date. Yep, okay, so it looks like I can combine it. At least it gets built quick. Yeah, I'll have to look at room efficiency and how, how to get it to actually be good. Unfortunately, that's not something I remember uh, from the last time I played this. I think it had something to do with, like, you can upgrade it. Uh, it's like room adjacency bonuses and a couple other things. But for now, we don't care. Keep uh, grabbing gold, because I may be, may be running through it kind of fast. I guess we do actually have this diamond diamond vein here, which is... Oh, right. I forgot. You do have uh, infinite money. It's just it's slower. Okay, so this is the... Uh, this is the expanded area. Okay, so we want to dig this out. Let's fill this in. And we want to do... Horde room. There we go. Yeah, efficiency 20%? I don't know. Okay, if this follows the routes from Dungeon Keeper, once you have libraries, you'll want 200, 200 tile sized libraries and loads of the Warlock equivalent. Yeah, imps. Okay, well, we've still got a fair ways off before, uh, before we get to that point. Oh, this efficiency is up to 70%. Okay, so I, d I don't really know what's up with... Uh, oh, the gobbler room's up to 90. Okay, so really just uh, the more doors you have sticking out. The worst is going to be armor bonus. Who do we give that to? Mokhtar. Who's sleepy? Well, more bedrooms for you suckers. I mean, I guess I can kind of expand this in. Neat part is I can actually, uh... I like the fact that I can fill this stuff. So if we need to, I can make an even uh, bigger setup along the way. Okay. Yeah, this this feels better. Uh, and also having not having the narrator constantly nitpicking every, every action actually lets me get some thoughts across. That was definitely a complaint I had from the first one. I'm curious if the uh, if the guys actually uh, who made this game watched that video. I almost kind of hope not. <laughs> uh, that's okay. A fully enclosed room is 100%. Doors are required. Unfortunately, I can't make doors until we get uh, further further upgrades. But yeah, we'll get there. So what is this? It's like a weird icon on the map, but I don't entirely know what it's supposed to be. We've also got whatever this is. Well, one way or another. Uh, food problems seem to be solved. Anybody else? Uh, no, it doesn't... Just these guys that are... that the are grumping. evil had dug into a dragon's nest. I wish there was a way... Enter the dungeon. I wish, uh, to some degree, I wish there was a, a way I could, uh, give my guys, like, kind of defensive AI. Well, screw it. Is that the only one coming to attack me? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, the rest of you guys, guys are gonna go after the dragon. I think there's only one. Hilariously, uh, there's, like, one dragon, and it's just not stopping the little snots at all. All right, we good? We're good. Okay, gobbler's not a problem. I kind of wish there was like a, a command I could send uh, send out being like, all right, everybody's about to depart. Let's, um... We're about, oh, oh, that icon is Talia. Okay, it looks like a weird shell when zoomed out really far. Now I feel foolish. Oh, geez, that's, uh, that's a lot of gold back there. We've got a lot to explore. I like the uh, the element of exploration here. It's a uh, it's a neat effect. Effect? I don't know. It's a it's a neat thing. 
Yeah, so we'll get doors later. Uh, let's see. Are people still striking? At this point, they really shouldn't be. Like, we've pretty much... We've pretty much fit, fit everybody's, uh... Needs, I believe. Alright. Uh, well, I could always... Wow. You can get, uh... You can really buff the number of, uh... Critters you have in your army. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of money at Improved Horde. Yeah, 35% extra life. 14% extra damage. Alright. And I'm gonna... I'm just gonna set more bedrooms, and then we're gonna go on adventures. Because I think my guys are, uh... Why not that one? Okay. I guess there was still rubble there. I think my guys are, uh... Are well taken care of. Dunno. Gonna assume as such. Looks like they might be a little sleep. I don't know. Whatever. Screw it. Let's go. Let's go for the next camp, and then I'll bring them back. But you know, kind of like uh, if you're going on a trip. Uh, oops. If you know you're going on a on like a long plane ride tomorrow, you don't just like hang out and play Overwatch until like 3 a.m. I mean, some of you guys probably do actually. I do. I I know oftentimes when I'm going on a long trip, I will. Uh, stay up late. Generally, I'm just trying to get everything done, but sometimes I I will admit I uh, I do it pr purely frivolously. But it is kind of nice being wicked tired uh, when traveling, because more or less eliminates any chance of jet lag. Uh, also makes it just a lot easier to actually sleep in transit. Hello. Wow, that guy uh, kind of exploded really fast. Oh, and yes, she does actually use her ability, so I don't have to micromanage it if I don't want to. Good! I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to. It's always a nuisance, micromanaging abilities. I do wish this game had a pause button. Uh, I kind of understand why it doesn't, but uh, it'd just be nice so I could kind of get my thoughts together. Okay, let's hit the, uh, let's hit the apprentices. There we go. When people, oh, right, they they come out of the houses. Those are the those are the mob spawners. I'd actually, I would almost kind of reminds me of Hero Line Wars. I'd actually love to try out the competitive mode, but I think it would it wouldn't work that well. Uh, but it'd almost be cool to have like a mode where you have one person who's building a dungeon. And one person who's, uh, who's just sending waves of dudes in. Uh, kind of like, uh, I guess any old tower defense or, or stuff like that. Because I, I will admit, like, the, uh, the going around the overworld thing, it's, it's not, it's actually fairly well done. Especially, especially now. I want to say the, uh, the controls in, uh, in 2 were, like, weirdly awkward. Uh, this feels much more traditional and much more functional. Yeah, let's keep going for the tent. There's another group of guys over here, but I don't care that much. Um, I think I kind of missed with that bomb, didn't I? Well, it's okay. It doesn't matter that much. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to play a Dungeon Keeper game someday that is actually just truly pure dungeon. Good camp uh, has been destroyed. Victory is ours. Evil is victorious. <laughs> Good thing I switched sides. And so it was that the good camp was destroyed by the battle-wise evil's army. Now it was time to take over all of the good islands. But that would be a cakewalk. Easy as stealing candy from a baby. Candy from a baby? Simple. My ass. Ever tried it? The screaming and crying and fetching their parents and family as reinforcements, and those little beasts bite pretty damn hard. <clears throat> Not that I have any personal experience, of course. The ultimate, chaotic, absolute, whatever evil will be happy. I am. <laughs> Father is going to be so angry. Do you really know what you're doing? You wanted to be good. You had dedicated yourself to the light. Stop and really think about your deeds. Can you please just stop with the golem thing? 
We already had too many Lord of the Rings gags in the last two games. Enough is enough. Yeah, exactly. Just shut it, good me. Talia and the destructive Evil's army had succeeded in destroying Twistrum and the surrounding area. Good. No longer existed in this land. Why? What the hell happened here? Um, uh, apparently not quite all of the good guys were defeated. The Dwarven King Grimly, an old drinking buddy of Thanos the Paladin, was just touring the country with his exorbitantly large army to ensure everything was in order. Thank God the foresighted evil had provided for this contingency. The Dungeon Heart was charged with evilness and enough energy to act as a teleporter. For Talia, of course. Ooh, good. Then all the best, brave warriors, and stop them! Right! I'm out of here. With a plop, Talia dissipated and disappeared to a faraway and safe place. The rest of the sacrificing evil's creatures looked astonished as their general fled, but only for a moment, as they already found themselves facing an unpleasant army of good. This is the work of that damn pointy-eared wench. I always warned Thanos that those miserable dark elves couldn't be trusted. Criminals, the lot of them. But enough is enough. I'm going to find that shifty wench and use her ears as bookmarks. Alright, well, this is actually a really good stopping point. I was going to stop it earlier after the first mission, but I figured it'd be kind of a shame to end the uh, first episode of Dungeons 3 without actually even bothering to go in a dungeon. The uh, the stealth segment setup was kind of fun, but also very much not what this game really is about. Uh, so a bit of a long one. All the other episodes after this are going to be a bit shorter, just to keep them a bit more manageable. Anyway, uh, so I really like this game, actually. I... <laughs> I had a much better experience with this one than Dungeons 2, and I'm actually in, enjoying the entire uh, process, and I, I can't wait to play more. I can't wait to get, you know, deeper into the campaign, and then maybe we'll mess around with the skirmish mode a little bit just to see what, you know, the full unadulterated gameplay is like. Because uh, it does seem like uh, the whole over overworld invasion segment is uh, maybe a little bit on the easy side. Eh, whatever. I mean, I'm mostly just having fun. It's It's hella campy, and that's a good thing. So I guess with this, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because uh, I'm actually going to shoot for a full run on this one. It seems like uh, it's a little bit more suited for me or maybe I'm more suited for it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dungeons 3. And as always, thanks for watching.